Guitar and your wife's blouse and makeup because we're gonna do some Bon Jovi. Now, I want all you guys out there to, you know, not to pretend that you don't like Bon Jovi because I know when you're at the bar and everyone's singing, what it? You're right there singing like a Beatlemania girl, which is nothing to be ashamed of because Bon Jovi rocks and Richie Sambor is a great guitar player. So, Let's learn Wanted Dead or Alive solo. It's freaking awesome and really simple. So let's have at it. All right, so we're in standard pitch. Any of you that don't know that beginning little riff, what we're going to do is we're going to be open D, and then you're going to be on the 14th fret on the G, and the 13th fret on the high E, and you're going to skip the B string. So you got... Right? Next riff is 12 and 12. Same string skip. Down to 10. Now you're going to be on 9 and 8. And you go 5 and 5. 4 and 3. And then you're going to slide down to 1 and 2. So all together you got... up that distortion and right okay so the songs in d you're going to solo in basically uh d minor pentatonic so the opening riff is going to be right let's do this right let's kick on some extra gain all right some good vibrato it's really you know pissed sounding so what you're going to do is you're going to go in you're going to slide down you know, it doesn't matter which fret, you just slide down on that low E string and slide it down. And then you're gonna go. So you're gonna slide from the D note to the C on the A string. So you're gonna pick, slide, and then from the C note, pick, and then slide, and then you're gonna go. Next one is slide, so you got and then you're gonna go now that right there is third fret open A fifth fret. So you're gonna do this all with some good palm muting right here. All right, so we got. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend on the fifth fret of the D string and you're gonna bend down a whole step. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna add an artificial pinch harmonic, which what you do is you basically take this part of your thumb skin and your pick and you hit the string at the same time. Now, you're gonna get different harmonics you know where you place the pick and where you pick this is going to be basically if you have this kind of setup basically right behind this middle pickup of the strat so, one two three four and on that last one you're going to bend and let it come down and then you're going to go to the third fret of the d so we got and you're gonna do some good vibrato on that uh, third fret D string. Then you're gonna go out of the second position of the pentatonic and you're gonna go. So right there is gonna be 12 and 14 on the G, 13, 15 on the B, 13, 15 on the E. So we got. You're 
And you're actually going to be hitting this 15th twice. So you got... And then again to bend it up. So that's... So you're going to bend it up. Hit it. Bring it down. And then you go to the 13th fret. And then up a whole step on the 15th again. So we got... Again. Alright, that next one is two open A's. And then you're going to do a heavy pinch harmonic on the fifth fret of the D string. And then you're going to go down to the third fret, open, A. So all together we got... from a D chord to C back to D. Okay, so the next part, you're gonna hammer on. So do a little pinch harmonic. These are all gonna have a little pinch harmonic in there, so find that. You know, all those those pinch harmonics back here if you got a strat. It'll be pretty much in between the two humbucking pickups if you have a Les Paul configuration. So we got. So that's three and five on the A. Right? And then you go to the third fret of the D, and then you're going to go fifth fret of the A and the E. And then back to... So that's three, five on the A. Three, five. Bend down a whole step. Open D, pull off third fret, back to the open D. Fifth fret A, third fret A, back to five. So it's bend down on the fifth. to the first position D minor pentatonic. Right, so right there is bending up the 12th fret. A whole step. And then you're gonna grab the 13th fret of the B string. And then you're gonna do the same thing, same kind of bend, but then you're gonna grab the 13th fret of the E. And then 
back to a bend again on the 12th fret and catch that B string again. So we got. And then it's bend, release, and then two on the 10th fret G string. And then we got pinch harmonics. So we got. That last little riff, you're gonna go back down to this D chord position. Open A, fifth fret, A string, third fret, A string. Now you're gonna go up to the low E string and go chromatically down from five to three. To the F note, first fret, and then to a D chord. So all together you got. But it's really heavily palm muted. Again. Back it up. Anyways, buy the tune on iTunes. Play along. It's a great, great song. I mean, total crowd pleaser. If you bust that out at a party, backyard, you know, some brews or some punch if you're a little kid, bust that thing out, you're going to be like, dude, you rock. Everyone's going to sing it. You can't not sing Bon Jovi. I don't care who you are, even if you're a corn fanatic. So anyways, basic tune. Rock out. Catch you next time.